Welcome on our road to 2000 to challenge Ray Enigma, the other guy in the suit. And as soon as I reach the 2000, I will start challenging him and the winner of the challenge keeps the suit. So I think a very nice quest. Please support me in this as I need it. And yeah, if you want to play a game against me, please reach out. Add me as friend at chess.com. Here's my username, chess explainer. And then we'll make sure to have a game like already over 40 people have done before you. I think it's a lot of fun. And in the meanwhile, we have entered a Queen's Gambit declined with a Carlsbad structure. Yeah, very common, very common. So in case of takes, I will take back with the Knight. And at least I have a strong Knight going here. Otherwise, if we would have progressed, then uh, my bishop would have landed here. This bishop will be strong. Maybe it will go back anyway. But let's see. Um, my opponent steps out of the pin. I can't take, right? Because because of this pin, he created another pin. Let's just take. If it takes, well, then I will take. Okay, guys. Don't give up your bishops uh, that easy. Because uh, he also gave my rook a very good square now. Maybe he's gonna go this. Okay, he's going there. Let's see, this doesn't look good. This pin is strong. Huh? Okay, he wants to go here, out of the pin. But I think this is just a move I don't have to think about. Uh, just retreat. Because I would like to keep my strong bishop, bishop, of course. His pawn is weak. If he goes here, I think I will just go here. We need to be careful of this bishop landing on this diagonal at some point. Um, but I will be careful of that. He goes there. Um, first move on my mind is f3. But what about this one? Sets up this. Sets up this. Mm. Looks interesting already to me. F3. Then probably he will retreat. This move. Takes. Takes. Maybe this? I don't know. Hmm, not sure about it. I think F3 creates a bunch of weaknesses. The downside of this move is that it blocks. Yes, it goes here, but maybe. No, that's not a move because then the queen hangs, of course. So here he has to. Maybe he has to go here. Or retreat to the knight. Which I'd like to see. Maybe this knights will take away some good squares for me. I don't know. Let's go here with threat. And then I can always play f3. So I think I'll play f3 later. He goes there. He's not threatening, right? Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he is. Wait, he is. So this one is still taking the check, giving the checkmate option. I take. Takes back. At least enter his position. I could also simply just drop back. Hmm. And his bishop is a bit misplaced, maybe. Then he will go here. And I don't have a lot of squares for my rook. And now he will take my bishop later. I think I should just take. Let's just take. What about this move? And his bishop needs to retreat. 
Can't go here, right? Can't go here because of this. I don't want to go like this. Then I have a... Do I have a tempo? No, because of the pin I don't. Hmm, that's a pity. That is a pity. He goes there. I could take, of course. But I don't, I'm not gonna. I think this is a good move. Attacking the pawn. Then I will double up over here. And... Oh! Oh, here he has to take like this, right? Because if he takes back with a pawn, then the knight hangs. Could go here. I think this is a good move. Maybe even this. Ah, but then this. Hmm. Okay. Five minutes. My opponent is at least fast. That looks good. Hmm, that looks very, very good. I think he has to go here. But then I think I'll take here anyway. Takes back with the queen. Maybe take here. Hmm. No, that's not it. That's not it. Oh wait, I can just simply take, huh? Take. Take. In the end, this one hangs, this friend. So that's already a way for me to win a pawn. I think this is a nasty move, so. Here, here. Then this, right? Uh, yeah, but yeah, we calculated that this wins a pawn. Pawn is a pawn. Pawn is a pawn. Maybe a pawn is two pawns. Who knows? Maybe this is interesting. I need to be careful of. My back rank, of course. But I will be careful of my back rank. Don't think this works. Simply take it, but I have to be mindful of that option. Of course. He goes there. With what I have, I simply start pinning some stuff here. Because also the bishop is strong, huh? It's fast. The bishop is fast. This is already... Close to game over. You can't go here to threaten this. Uh, so I have, if he goes here, then I have this move. Takes and the queen hangs. So... Yeah, I think this is looks good for me. This doesn't work, right? So I can take it. This move. Queen hangs. Uh, you cannot protect the bishop anymore. So... 
This looks very good to me. He goes there. But I think this is now a very good move. Yeah, that's nice. Here. Check. He goes here. I'm gonna check anyway. Check. And then he can retreat the knight. Yeah, but I simply take the bishop first and then go like this. Yeah, this is winning, I believe, if my calculations are right. Check. And if he goes back, and I can simply take the bishop. Takes then a nice fork on the queen and the king. So it takes, takes, and a nice fork. That's the only way that works, right? Because if I were to go, if I would check first. Okay, well, I will show it in the analysis. Great game, by the way. And let's check out the analysis. 95% accuracy played like a 2450 and a brilliant move. Guys, that is cool. So check it out. Check it out. That's very nice. And I think probably the brilliant move was the last move where I took the bishop, but let's see. Here, yeah, just a standard Karlsbrad variation, and the Karlsbrad is because of this, this type of pawn structure. I will not go into to, to that too deep, but here I simply take back with the knight and already have a nice center over here with a very strong knight, and in the end that knight also made me win the game. Yeah, giving up the bishop over here. The computer likes it, but that was after the, the computer said that this was a bad move. Because instead, the computer would have liked to see a move like maybe... Um, what does the computer want? Right here, for example. Maybe going here. But okay, yeah, this basically gives up the bishop pair. I retreat. Keep an eye on this bishop. I also don't want this bishop to land there, but okay, my knight is supporting with that as well. Queen here, question mark. Instead, immediately going here would have been best to create another threat. And then knight c4 already allowing me to take here. But this is a bit... Yeah, it gives a lot of play for my opponent as this pawn also falls. I don't like it as much. Queen c2 I think is just a very good move. And yeah, his strong knight needs to retreat, which is good. I take here the knight, which would become very powerful over here. So it's the right moment to take and give up your bishop pair. And I think he has to go back to d7 here to maybe see if there's a future over here. But e6 is passive and now this question mark. Rook c1 is the preferred move. I thought about it, but I thought, okay, let's make threat first. He needs to react. And now rook c1. But yeah, this is simply winning a pawn. What would have been a better move for my opponent in this position? Uh, rook f d1. But then I think I would have gone here. This already looks very strong for me, but knight e5. Okay, yeah, that is that is interesting. And I need to go forward already. Okay. But yeah, this just wins a pawn. And not just a pawn, because after this move, yeah, also the bishop, right? And I will show you the finish. This is a great move. And I was also thinking about this. Oh, I was also thinking about this, but takes. Check. But then this just escapes about everything. And I'm just a pawn up. But I played the brilliant move. Queen takes c1. Brilliancy. Great move. And if you take back, I have a great fork here. And yeah, the king goes to f8. Pick up the queen. And also another pawn. Knight to e5 and also this pawn hangs and this is just completely winning. Alright guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, add me as friend at chess.com and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.